Photographers are like birds. They guess which way to go. Sometimes they look around for things to eat. They steal worms from people. They're bad people, bad birds. But it doesn't mean I'm not gonna help when 10 of them come to me for help. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. I have a hair light. You can't see it, but it's separating me from the background in a three-dimensional-like fashion, though cloudy, rainy window light is my key. And I have a YouTuber's piece of RGB equipment in a glass bowl, diffusing tension among us. Was that your question? Casey, I currently shoot with the Canon RP, debating selling it for a Fuji X-H1. No one's ever debated that switch in the history of mankind. You're the first. That's weird. I know the X-H1's old, can be found for pretty cheap, Fuji door, reasonable price, leave me some money, decent lens, problem with the RP, RF lenses are too expensive. You're gonna lose money on this transaction, no matter what happens. Tired of having the worst dynamic range in the universe, that's, that's a damn truth. It hits hard in the RP territory. You couldn't raise a shadow if you had a flashlight. I fell for full frame trap, bought a budget full frame butt. Still can't afford decent full frame glass. Glass is everything, by the way. So if you can't afford the glass, don't buy the camera. You know, just slap a ring on it. Do you think I'm making a good choice? Switching to Fuji. Well, thanks for not telling me a damn thing about what you plan on shooting, I have no idea. If it was wildlife, boom, go for it. Talking head, run. Opposite direction. I have no idea what you want. I think I just highlighted this question to make fun of you for not telling me a damn thing and I will never save another question again. The X-H1 has autofocus points in this little box in the center. You can't move much. It's very old. It's obsolete immediately by the X-T4. It's just, why go back? Just go have some 1970s expired cereals on eBay. Then you can go back in time. Hi boss, I have an M50. I'm doing some shit. Sit down talk videos. I have a speed booster and an old EF 1.4. What focal length, you piece of shit. But it feels like I wanna upgrade. Do ya? Do ya? Does your audience know that you're dumb for wanting to upgrade? Ah. Is the M6 Mark II a good upgrade? At least I can keep my crap lens and use it on that body. What do you think? What are you gonna do with it? You get 4K now, so it's sharper and you're uglier. People are gonna like, oh, I didn't know you had a mole here. That's, sorry, unsubbed, I, I can't watch that. Just 4K is never the answer for the human face, unless you're 50 yards away, and then it'll give you a little separation, 3D pop. 4K helps with the pop, I'll tell you that much. I should have done it. Oh, I regret not doing it. Quick question, is the Fuji XS10 not a viable option too? Saving a good $1,000. Doesn't it have IBIS? Same exact sensor as X-T4. Same video specs. Convenient button for hitting record. Same film sims. Deeper recess grip. Hand for larger lenses. Tele in their variety. Downsides are no WR. What the hell does that mean? FU for shortening it. And single slot only. Help me out, what am I missing? You missed a lot. You missed a hell of a lot, and I wrote down so many things. It has worse battery life, noticeably terrible. I never change my X-T4 battery. Usually I go out, shoot some wildlife, come back, go out again, maybe three times before I need a battery switch. One in my pocket, boom, we're good to go. No 10-bit internal, will it matter? Probably not, but if you ever wanna push a grade, you'll miss it. You will miss it hard, no 4K 60P. That's almost deal breaker territory for wildlife. I, I like it. Sometimes I'll film in slow-mo. Oh, it looks so terrible. Then I punch in on a 4K 60p. Not only did I gain resolution, but I got closer and it's sharper. Huh? Huh? Less custom buttons. There's hardly anything on that thing. I mean, there's like three buttons and no like manual focus to single switch gone wow less menu options i remember looking through the menus and a lot of shit was gone did i need any of it probably not but there's less stuff to do worse screen and viewfinder less resolution holy shit only one four thousandth of a shutter versus one eight thousandth on the fuji xt4 is that worth a thousand dollars to you grow some standards
With the joy you're getting from wildlife shooting these days, ever give a reconsider to the Blackmagic 6K Pro? Thanks for the channel. Good work. Why? What does it have that I would need? It misses everything that I do need. It has no IBIS, no viewfinder. The ND filters in there, the, like that would ruin my life for slow-mo. You don't want an ND for slow-mo. You need the most light possible. That would just make noisy footage. EF mount. You need old Canon DSLR lenses. So you only have lens stable. Will it even work? 100% manual focus, not even a back button focus on that bitch. Don't quote me on that. Still, I want it. I, I wouldn't mind seeing. Is it worth it? But I shot Canon 8K RAW. I wasn't impressed. I was like, I like the Fuji footage better. Sometimes you hope a camera company will add the features you want, but they are so far away from what I need. Like, it's asking too much. It's asking them to be a completely different person. Like, you marry your wife. And you think, oh, she'll change these certain things. I can change her. No, that's her. She's not going to change. She'll change husbands. Yeah, that's you. Yeah. Was that your question? Likely not. Hello, Casey. Not a technical question, but do you have any tips on how to find wildlife? I thought I should ask a wildlife photography expert like you. Well, you've come to the right place. Uh, after many years in the industry, I have found the best tip is to go on Google Maps and look for green and then go there and you'll probably see a bird and try to find it in your viewfinder. Just try to find a forest or go to the lake. Go somewhere where there's less humans and you'll likely find some more critters. I don't go at any special time of the day. You could wake up, okay, 5 a.m. I'm not rearranging my life and sacrificing my health to go get some shit. I wake up with the sun like I should, and eventually I'll get out there at noon, high noon for the best lighting, top down, just beautiful. But you'd be surprised on how much wildlife there is close to you. Like this used to be wildlife, your house, like it displaced wildlife and they just moved a bit further away. They still want to come back here. So just go a little bit, explore the area. I saw a kingfisher the other day. A frickin' King Fisher. He was fishing. Oh man. I I wasn't very close with him, unfortunately. But he flew away, because I smell like a goat. But I've seen so many things that I thought I would never see just in my backyard, basically. Like it's right close to my house, these little creeks, like it's very popular, it's right next to a highway. Like it's bullshit nature, but every time I go I'm seeing mystical, magical shit. And it's fantastic. So just go anywhere to a park, to a lake. You'll find it. Wear a camo hat and then nobody can see you. If you're walking with your girlfriend, just shout to her every couple of minutes to let her know you're still here. She won't be able to see you. I don't mean to alarm you. I know you're just hearing a voice and you're like, where did he go? I'm actually wearing camouflaged gear. So it's harder to spot me. If I stood still, you wouldn't, maybe you could see the arms waving because the light is so strong, but if I just stay still, I'm basically gone. Is Sony autofocus struggling? I see boxes popping up. It can't see me. What are your thoughts on the new Ronin 4D 6K camera? Need your expert advice. It's got to be the dumbest thing I've ever seen released. I don't know, like the results will be fine. It's just who would ever want to carry that heavy thing and it's like all gimbal all the time. I, like a DJI mount only DJI lenses I think don't quote me on it I haven't looked very far into it I just saw the freak thing and I was like that belongs in a museum for things we used to use like four people used to use that thing the dumbest thing that's just my life like I couldn't vlog with it that would be the dumbest heaviest vlogging thing you ever seen I couldn't wildlife with it like you can't gimbal and oh, I'm following it with a joystick yeah, have fun with that. Dumbest thing ever. What are you going to make? A movie? You couldn't be as good as my movie. Oh, hey, Kelvin, is that a new red sweater you have? That's fantastic. It brings out your eyes. The blue eyes with the red sweater? You're rocking, my friend. What's wrong with you? This is mauve. It's mauve. Clearly, 
No one would ever call this red. What's wrong with you? Are you colorblind? Are you sick? Sick in the mind? What happened to you? I thought I knew you. I have been feeling a little strange, a little hot. I'm hot. Oh, man. What's happening to me? I thought it was red. Oh, fuck. You probably have Lou Gehrig's or Parkinson's. Probably both. It deteriorates the brain till I can see it happening before my eyes. This is a mauve. Who the fuck? Is there any cure? What about my family? We're poor. I have nothing to leave them because I didn't amount to anything. I did what I loved for a living and it never panned out in the physical world. But we're happy. Does that count for anything? Happiness could be a, a fun factor. The big man upstairs, he'll know that I was happy and I made my wife proud. It could be enough. No? Sure, happiness. That, that ought to feed your family. They'll, they'll be happy for a while, I bet. A little while. Welcome to acting school. You know what I mean. Convey emotion and your audience will weep. They'll weep in favor. John Drummond. Next time, take the right fork on the trail. I will do no such thing. I, I risk it all for the channel, for the glory. Olympus footage looked pretty good. You considering the OM-1 since you already have lenses for that system, although the GX-6 sounds better, especially for slow-mo, except for the, well, you know. Yeah, about that. Olympus, I don't know, man. I'm very happy with the footage I've gotten with my little tiny EM-13 with the 75 to 300. It looks good, lightest system you can get. It's stable enough for slow-mo. It's just a lot of giant movements, but it's so light. It's like harder to stabilize. It's weird. The OM-1 doesn't have a lot that I'm looking forward to. It's like, okay, I could now get 4K 60p. Fuji already does it. 240p is still the same like 8-bit, 33% crop, 1-inch sensor now, almost. Single autofocus, which is how I use it anyway, but come on now. It was nice to have that Canon R5 that's doing animal eye detect. It's like, well, well that could be useful at times. So I don't know. And it's the lenses that really piss me off. It's like, I could just get the OM-1 and use my current lens and it would be better or the GH6 with my current lens. That could be a thing. You never know. I doubt it. Didn't you switch ditch the X-T4 because you didn't trust its autofocus? That was for human faces. Never leave X-T4 with a baby. It just too many hand movements, but Canon, same shit. I see Canon doing weird shit. Every time I moved, it would jump. I don't know, man, and the focused breathing of those Canon lenses, it's like, fuck. So X-T4 for this? Yeah, terrible. That's why I hated them, because this is what I do. Then I got into wildlife, didn't realize the magic I let slip through my fingers. So X-T4, fantastic. Little back button, autofocus, and then manual to fine tune it. You can't beat that thing. Autofocus will be more crucial for birds and other wildlife. It was nice to have, but I, I noticed, like every time I'm filming something, it's behind twigs, there's art to it. And I get this type of shit. I couldn't rely on it. And other people are telling me there's hacks to switch the auto. I don't know, I tried to remap one button and it brought me into the different autofocus modes and then nothing would change it. It brought all the options up at the bottom, tracking, single, the wheel wouldn't spin, the wheel doesn't change it, the joystick doesn't change it, only tapping on the screen. When I'm out there, the screen's shut where it should be, protected. So there's probably ways around it. I just, I hate you, Ken, and you suck. You can't map whatever I want to the custom modes. Stupid. If you don't want an R5 with the 100 to 500, still best solution in my opinion. You don't want to spend for an Alpha 1. You don't mind 8-bit. HD1, oh god, I would mind that. A7 IV, I can't do it. As you see behind me, there's not a G Master lens, is there? 
Hmm, it's almost as if Bob Ross sold it. Wow. Sony, you suck. For wildlife, actually, it was actually really good. I miss it already. But I want the 200 to 600 if I'm in the Sony universe, and I don't think I do. I like Sony for this. And then, ah, my custom buttons, we've been over it. I don't like switching back and forth between wildlife and this. I want one wildlife cam, and we have it. It's back there. Fuge. Huh? Fuge. But that 100 to 400 wasn't enough reach for me. The two times teleconverter made it too shaky. It had like, it was like, maybe not connected properly or something, and it was just micro jitters in the footage. Maybe the 1.4 would be okay, but... I don't like Sony with their ISO. If it's auto ISO, like as soon as you hit 3200, it's unusable. Even 2000, unusable in slow-mo for some reason. So it's like, you gotta be thinking of that up to 12,800, then things aren't right. It's not a dual native ISO. It's different, it's softer, colors are different. Sony, you suck. All right, this is a long episode. Casey, great video. The hawk ripping up shrew is cleansing for my soul. Indeed it is. Question, Canon RP, new cheapo 100 to 400. Oh God, any chance I would give good results for wildlife? How on earth? You'd be in 1080p, 60p if you wanted autofocus. Huge 4K crop, but 24, do they even have 24p? They might not, they 30p only. I just, I think people who film wildlife at regular speed belong in a nursing home and coached back into society because it's not it's what we already see nobody cares oh there's a bird too fast wow it's super jittery thanks for using a shutter of 8000 i love those jittery movements this is great whereas slow motion it's like wow oh they do leap and look what happens to his wings behind the back i didn't know wow look how accurate they grab a branch wow it's like sometimes i get a raccoon that's not moving and it's like 240 frames per second. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> I overdo it. But Canon RP would be the dumbest thing. It'd be light and you're technically full frame in 1080p, but it's like disgusting full frame. I don't, I wouldn't do it. Do you think the 50 to 230 lens is too wide for your wildlife filmmaking? He's talking about Fuji. I think Fuji has to be the dumbest at making too many lenses just overlapping each other. They have like four lenses in this 50 to 300. There's like a 55 to 200. What? And then a 70 to 300, which debunks both of these and a 100 to 400. What are you doing? They keep doing this too. They had a 16 mil 1.4. No, 18 mil 1.4. Wow. Like they're too similar. Why do you do it, Fuji? Stupid, like wasting so much resources and materials making these same focal lengths over and over again. They're probably gonna come out with a 60 to 390 soon for no reason. Why are you doing it? But yeah, that lens would be bullshit. I find the 70 to 300, there's many times where I'm like, damn it, oh, I wish I was closer. Why didn't I bring my 100 to 400? That was the Kingfisher footage, by the way. I was like, oh, that would have been nice to be a little closer on that one. Good thing I saved weight that I didn't need. It's like, unless you're going really far and you just want something hanging off your shoulder, uh, always 100 to 400 or the new one. Can't wait to see what that's all about. 150 to 600, another in the same category. Why? All right, last question. S5 is currently marked down to the same price as the X-T4. Would you take the S5 then? Never in a million sandwiches would I ever even look in that direction for any reason. Why would you do it? Worse colors, worse vlogging autofocus, even though the Fuji is terrible. I don't know, it might be close. It might be close. S5 might even be more reliable, but the pulse happy shit in the back, that ain't fun. For wildlife, they have no lenses. Oh, Sigma, bro, they're in an alliance. It'll work. Adapted glass never works for stabe. It never does the dual stabe. It's always fighting each other. You can't do that. You can't get away. People are like, I took a photo though. It worked. I took a shutter speed of 18,000. Look how smooth it is. The stabe's working great. Look at that. Is that a cat? Oh, wow.
He's licking his bum. Oh man, it's sharp. I could probably sell it. I better not. That's stupid. I'll delete it. Oh, hey, Reggie. How you doing? What's it? You need cat photos? Oh, I just took one. It. You wouldn't have wanted it, though. He was licking his ass. That's exactly what you needed? For a cat fetish site? How much would you have paid for it? Forty million dollars? That's a bit high. Why so much? Because it's so rare. And the fetish people are freaks. They'll pay for anything. Oh boy. That's bad timing. My mutual funds are crumbling. I, I really could have used that. So Panasonic, you suck. If we're talking GH6, you might have something. 4K 120p, 300 frames per second. With the right lens, I'd have to test it. But then, okay, we're talking. We're talking, even though it's heavier than the S5 with a goat standing on top of it. But I've helped you so much. What will you do with the help? It's on you now. Just spread it. Spread the love. Thank you for buying a Camera Conspiracies t-shirt in support. Subscribe. I'll take a picture of your cat. I'll do it.